I'm uh, Dan, uh, I own Marquis Flowers, and we're getting ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I think it was from back in feudal times, uh, Victorian times, they used it to communicate and that's how the rose was originated I guess and, and then from there it's just gone more and more where people have accepted that as a romantic flower. So. Well, I think roses are always the number one seller, but I, I, uh, people seem to be wanting other other varieties and other different uh, blooms and stuff. Uh, uh, roses generally don't last as long as a lot of the other flowers, and the prices get ridiculous at Valentine's. Uh, the growers have raised prices and stuff so bad that a lot of flower shops have even gone out of selling roses anymore. So. Roses do have meanings, uh, different meanings, that type of thing. We probably sell 75 to 80 percent of the roses are red. Uh, the colored roses definitely have a lot of different meanings, but it's uh, the personal preferences, I think, of the uh, young lady, and we send lots of roses to men, too. Uh, so a lot of them might have the, their own preferences on the colors that way. So. I think it's probably because it uh, kind of is new beginnings and stuff with flowers. It uh, kind of is a springtime thing. People think of flowers and I think flowers generally people think of happy times.